Hey, all you groovy dudes. I'm Hippie, and I'm here to tell you that in this episode, we will be drawing the winner for last week's giveaway. So don't go away. I've spent years searching both this world and its twin. Looking for a place that I might belong more than a shadow to all my sin. Now maybe it's time to step up. I've never seen a better reason why. Come here, darling. Welcome. Thank you for watching. It's raining. We're in a we're dry in the tent, but we uh, decided to go out and grab a breakfast. We are um, in Berlin, New Hampshire, and uh, we are going to go out and grab something to eat and do a little bit of exploring. And hopefully, the rain will stop. If it doesn't, we have some plans. So, let's go. We are up in, uh, well, right now we're in Stark, New Hampshire. We're staying in Milan, which is just north of Berlin. And it, it rained all morning. So this is the first time it stopped raining for us to get out of the tent and out looking around. But we're out doing a little scouting right now. And we've got some other plans for this afternoon. The river you hear is Nash Stream, Nash Stream. We're gonna go check it out and see what it looks like. Let's go. Wow, that's Nash Stream. But this gravel's exposed. Right after the bridge here, or I'm on the bridge, right in here. I bet you there's some heavies because there's a pinch point because of the bridge. But we're gonna look around and uh, we'll see what we can find. We pulled over at another little spot on Nash Stream. And this is a really nice area. I got to look into it more. I'm not sure if uh, prospecting is allowed in here or not. But it's really a nice place. It's kind of raining off and on today. Um, so we may set up a recirculating sluice box back at camp. And we have pay dirt that we can run through that. Um... But we're just exploring around this morning and taking a look at Nash Stream. Let's go. We're out here. 
little bog pond. There's a little house or cabin up there. We're gonna come down, take a look at Little Bog Pond, which is in the middle of nowhere. Looks like people put their boats in here. Little Bog Pond. And is that another house over there or something? Looks like boats. I mean, everybody's got their boat. They leave their boats here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and that one with a bunch of holes in it. Good little fishing pond, little bog pond. And it is in the middle of nowhere. It should be called the middle of nowhere pond, but <laughs> we just wanted to show you that. Uh, the weather is beginning to clear up a little even though it may not look like it we're gonna head back to camp now and we'll meet you back there we're out here driving around on Nash stream natural area and there's some trailheads and as we're coming up the road a car is flashing its lights at us, so we pull over and they ask us uh, if we've seen a golden retriever. And we told them we saw this sign missing since uh, last night, golden retriever Jackson. And he told us that him and his family were up here. I think maybe this trail, Percy Loop Trail, and his daughter broke her leg and they had to have people come in and carry her out. And this was last night. And during all that commotion, the dog got lost. The dog must have wandered off or something because all of a sudden there's no dog. And it rained really bad this morning, last night, and they still haven't found the dog, so. If we see him, we'll call the number. We're back at the camp where, uh, our morning drive in the rain, uh, we explored a lot. That's a good thing to do while it's raining. Um, and we're deciding what we want to do for the day. We have some options, but uh, let's uh, go over to the hippie and we'll see what his weather report is. There was supposed to be grapes in my dressing room. Yeah, grapes, there was none. What? Hey, how's it going, all you groovy dudes out there? It's time for the weather. And the weather today is... Well, it's sunny right now, but uh, it might rain later. I'd make sure you brought an umbrella. And you don't get wet like you did yesterday. <laughs> all right, now. Uh, back to you. Now about those grapes. Thank you, Hippie, for that wonderful weather report. I think he laughed at us about getting wet yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, it is sunny now, but it's unsettled. And uh, it's a ways over to the uh, where we want to go sluicing. We're not too crazy about the river here. It's kind of flooded now. So we've got some pay dirt. Now, where did we get this pay dirt? Um, eBay. Got the pay dirt from eBay. Um, who's it from? Vendetta. Vendetta Prospecting. And it was how much did we pay? Seven fifty. Seven hundred and fifty dollars. With shipping. With shipping. Um. 
So this should be some gold. And how much gold is supposed to be in there? Supposed to be 10 grams. 10 plus, because it's unsearched pay dirt, right? From Arizona, I believe. Yeah. And we're going to set up a recirculating sluice here at our camp and run it. And uh, that should be fun. So let's do it. I'm setting up the recirculating sluice box. I'll show you how this works. We have a 1,200 gallons per hour pump. That pumps water into the sluice. We have a battery down the bottom that we're using. Okay, we're just gonna fill it up with water. We'll be ready to go. First thing we want to do is wash the pay dirt to get off any organics. That's what he recommended. So we're going to take this and put it in a little bit of water with a little bit of soap in it. Now I'm going to mix that up a little. Ouch. You can see the organics in there. This is supposed to be from Lynx Creek in Arizona, unsearched pay dirt with 10 plus grams of gold added. All right, now we're gonna drop, get the water off of that. Get all that organics. And I'll put a little more, do it again. And there we have it. Now we're ready to run it. All right, we're ready to go. We're all set up. I'm gonna turn this on. I'm gonna lower this because I know how I like to see it. Okay, I readjusted it. So it's running the way I like it. I'm going to give it a try. That's better, don't you think? Yeah, there it is. Quite a bit of gold already. There's another line just so I do the same thing. Look at that. That's so big, there's a ton of gold in that map. I mean, it, look at it. It's ridiculous. And that one there, I can just reach in and pick it up. That's a fantastic nugget. Wow. Like to hold that? Well, it's supposed to be classified to 0.4. It doesn't look like it. So we'll have to classify the second run. All right, we're going to run this, and then we'll be back. All right, we're going to do a cleanup for the first time, but why don't you come up and take a look at the gold that's in that map.
exploded. Looks like about 10 grams. So let me take out some of the bigger pieces. Take a look at them. Some big pieces I'm going to put right in the snuffer bottle. And then I'm going to clean this up. All right, I unhooked the hose. And we're going to dump this into here. Hear all the gold falling out of that. Here's our concentrates. We're going to pan this first run out and see how we did. All these, uh, everything in the bottom of this pan, all these tailings we're going to run, bring home and pan all out later. Anything that I miss. I normally wouldn't run that size of stone through. So, we're going to classify this for the next run. All right, here we go. For the first run, Ran it through, unclassified. I imagine it's gonna take a couple of runs with this. I can see there's a lot of gold in here, so I'm gonna slowly work this back. Let me shake it around a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. Hey, hey, all that gold in there. So I gotta. You know, it's getting by I'm going too fast so I'm gonna work on this for a little bit and get as much as I can out of this and then we're gonna run it all again and I'll be back all right we're fighting the little no see -ums. those are the little tiny black flies that you can't see well you can, but you got to look really hard see them if you look at my arm <laughs> you, can see the, you can see the marks they leave uh, we're uh, sitting here getting ready to do our second run. Uh, it took me about a half hour to clean up all the clean out all the gold out of the black sand on the first run. And I wouldn't have run that if I'd have known it wasn't classified. I mean, I classified it now. I just ran it through a half inch classifier and took out. Uh, cup of rocks i would say we should have looked through it better yeah before we did it because this big rock dropped out of the bag landed on the indicator mat and all the gold washed out from it yeah and we're gonna run it again it's not a big deal but i didn't expect that no so we classified it and now we're gonna run it again and see what we get on the second one i'm gonna keep the first run and the second run separate. So we can see what we got on the first run. We'll see what we get on the second run. And then all the material I'm gonna bring home and I can pan it out uh, or run it through my spiral wheel, something like that, and another episode to get it all out. We're looking for 10 grams, so we'll see what we get when we're all done. Don't go away, you'll miss the whole thing. Let's take a look at this shirt before we get into the... Everybody likes ramen noodles, don't they? That's the chicken flavor. Only when I'm extra, extra hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and we 
we go. Right there, that's what we missed along the first run. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That's oh, quite yeah. a bit. I'm gonna suck that up. I'm gonna suck all that up right there. This bee wants to hang out here. All right, I'm gonna clean this all up and then I'll be back with the weigh-in. It's time to give away the prizes from last week. Uh, we're gonna have the giveaway from those who put a comment in last week's video. We have these giveaways every once in a while and all you gotta do is put a comment, be a subscriber. Um, the prizes we're giving away this week, here they are once again. This great sticker, Peace, Love and Moose. New Hampshire. New Hampshire. And this great New Hampshire hat with a bear on it. Live free or die, it says on the back. Very nice. Which is the New Hampshire motto. That's not all. That's not all. Look at that. And a great sweatshirt. It says White Mountains. It has pockets, a hood. Extra large. Nice and thick, too. All right, so let's go over to the computer, and we're going to pick a winner. All right, we have the YouTube comment picker here. We've got the URL of the vi last week's video in there. We're filtering duplicate users, and we have 83 comments to choose from. And we're ready to go. All we have to do is click this start button. Here we go. Isn't this exciting? Good luck. Small fries. Next time you make an egg and ham sandwich, try adding a hash brown patty to the... It's the bomb. It tastes really good, and you can fry it in your skillet or cook it in your oven. Well, thank you, Small Fries, and congratulations. Well, congratulations, Small Fries. And uh, get in touch with us. We will uh, get your address, and we'll send it right out to you. So now let's get back to our show. Here's the gold, we're drying it up. We're gonna dry it up and then we'll weigh it out. Okay, let's start with the big nugget. Well, it's a 2.58 gram nugget. Those are about all the nuggets right there. 4.38. A lot of pickers in there. Ten point eight two. 
Looks like we got pretty much all of it, I would say. Yep. I mean, we'll go through it again, but with a pan. But there you have it. <clears throat> Two runs of the sluice. I put it all together because the there was such little amount, probably less than like a maybe 0.2, maybe, in that second run. So I just dumped it all into one. And uh, that's what we were hoping to get right about there. And uh, so that's pretty good. So I'm going to get this bagged up and uh, we'll be back. Well, that pay dirt was a lot of fun. Took a long time because we took our time. We did two runs and now it's late in the afternoon and we realize we need a few supplies for dinner. So we're not having ramen noodles. <laughs> we're having something else really tasty. So we're going to run to the store, grab some supplies, and we'll come back and make dinner. Berlin and uh, there's a little plaza here because we decided not to cook in a long day <sighs> okay we're going back to camp okay I'm finding out what we got here at the same time uh, that looks like a steak and cheese sandwich a little overdone a little overdone steak and cheese sandwich What's Pasta. that? Pasta? Holy smokes. And a pizza with bacon and onions, I think. All right, well, that's a simple dinner to, to make tonight. Let me uh, try it and see how it is. Here we are. Let me hold that cover for you. We'll try the pizza, tell you how it is. Good. Tastes like pizza. Tastes like pizza. <laughs> We're gonna eat this and then we'll be back. You hear the police cars? Here we are in the middle of the woods and two police cars come flying by with their... They're in a hurry. In a hurry. Flying by with their lights and sirens going. They're like in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of the woods. I mean, there are other camps down there, but so something must have happened. Yeah. Something pretty serious for them to be rushing it's out there. real serious. We're going to have to pack up and run up there, right? Maybe. <laughs> I'm getting this sluice box. I have a indicator mat. Little V mat that I'm putting right at the beginning of the sluice. I'm gonna stick that in and maybe we'll take a ride and nose around and see what's going on. I'm gonna try this out. I brought some mounting tape, supposed to be extra strong. And I put it on the back and I'm gonna put that right in there, just like that. And we'll see how that goes. I'll let you know. Something's going on. Something's going on. I mean, we're in the middle of nowhere. Holy moly. Fire trucks and EMS, two police cars. Someone was speeding and drove off the road because it's real steep up there. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? <We'll>, we, <laughs> we may have to go up and snoop around, but I hate to get in people's way. We'll see. Curiosity killed the cat. Here we go.
all kinds of excitement here tonight. And we decided to take a ride up the road to see what was going on. And I'm sure you want to know too. In the middle of the woods, what could happen? Well, some car was speeding on this road a couple miles up, about three miles up. It's a long road. It goes for about 10 miles. And they rolled over. And they're okay. Uh, they didn't have to use any extraction or nothing to get them out. Um, but he's all right. I see he left in the ambulance, though. I don't a lot know. of excitement for this neck of the woods. Yeah. Luckily, there's cell phone service here because someone had to call that in, unless he did. But that's the excitement. I got to check out my sluice box, see how it's drying. Looking good. I went around the perimeter after I stuck it down with silicone to seal it so nothing would get underneath. And it seems like it's going to be good for tomorrow's run. Not bad. We got in just in time. It's pouring. Certainly has been a rainy day. Out of nowhere. Just started pouring. Well, it's from somewhere. We're sitting in the tent here. Listening to the rain come down. Watching the fire outside the screen door. <laughs> An outdoor fire, but we're sitting indoors. A lot of thunder going on outside. I'd like to take this time to thank our members, those who hit that join button and also those who shop at thehipbee.com. These names you see on the screen are those members, and they are special people. These people help us to continue making these videos. If you'd like to be on this screen, visit thehipbee.com and make a purchase, or hit that join button and become a member. Thank you. As you can hear, it's raining. We're sitting here watching the fire out the screen door. And it's getting late. Lots of exciting things today. Lots of odd things happened. From uh, Jackson, the golden retriever, being missing. Mm -hmm. When we went deep into the middle of the woods over in Nash Stream. And then uh, over here... We have a car f flipping over on the middle of a dirt road and uh, the policemen and fire trucks and ambulances, so we went up to see and that's what it was. He's okay. And we did that pay dirt today. Yeah. What'd you think? Yeah, it was good. It worked out good. We got a lot of gold. We got what was promised in there plus some. Yeah, and the uh, recirculating sluice, that sluice works great. You can see we ran it twice. If we ran it again, there'd be just a very... Where I'm saving it. I'll put it in with other things I run, just in case there's anything else that got missed in there. But I'm pretty sure we got close to 99% yeah. uh, of that. We've run it before twice, and it can come up with nothing on the yeah. first five. We actually panned everything out one time, remember? Yeah. There was yeah. nothing. There was nothing. So. so I'm pretty confident with that sluice. It runs great. The thunder. You can hear the thunder. It's going to be another. We woke up. It was pouring. We managed to get the day in. Hip Beast said it was going to be sunny. And it was for a little while. So I got to give him credit. <laughs> He's not that. That weatherman is not as wrong as some others. <laughs> That's true. So thank you for watching and coming along on our adventures. Every Wednesday, 7.30, we put up a new one. Hit that uh, like button and subscribe. And don't forget to check out our store for honey and beehive products at thehipbee.com. And that's all. Till next week. Peace. Peace.